Hello everybody and welcome to Mondoid, your one-stop shop for all things Project Zomboid, and this week, Mashy Birthdays in Return of the Will! Yes, first and foremost, happy birthday, Mash! You provide some of the coolest maps and art to this side of Knox County, and I appreciate everything you do for the development of Project Zomboid. And of course, Will has returned full force to the Indie Stone. If you did not know, Will, the writer, pr uh, primarily the creative lead or whatever they're calling him, he went off and he was writing, he was part of the writing team for the new Alien Isolation game coming out in October. I'm so excited. Don't let me down, dude. Don't let me down. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited for it. But this particular blog is what we're focusing on. And this particular blog isn't so much a an update as to what's going on in development, but what to expect in the near future. Two major things, primarily. One, as I said, uh, Will is returning full force to the Indie Stone. As you can see here, he has been doing uh, Alien Isolation by Creative Assembly. And I'm, I've been really, really hyped for that game. So I'm excited to see what the writing is going to be providing and all kinds of good stuff. But they are going to, he's going to be back. <coughs> he's going to be back. And what, why this is good is because Lemmy is apparently now up to the point with rewriting and recoding NPCs that it's time to start putting in new stuff to have the NPCs doing. And Will is a major, major part of that. So having him come back right at this time is basically perfect. Now they can start working on getting the new stuff in for NPCs and really start making progress toward finishing NPCs, or at least putting them in, in some sort of beta format within the game itself. It's really exciting. Uh, I can't wait to see what new things are going to be happening with Will there to help write and all this stuff. We're going to be looking at more and more Walking Dead, quote-unquote, as they say, scenario types for the NPCs to be living through every day. On top of that, they are uh, rekindled, recame, re reconnected, came back together with somebody that they worked back in the big game industry. If you didn't know, some of the developers of Indie Stone have worked in the bigger game industry for AAA games and so on and so forth. And one of the person that they did work with, they've actually met up with again. Uh, oddly enough, that particular person is working in the same office building that they themselves have. So what does that mean? Well, once this particular guy is done with his current project, which will be in September, he is gonna be joining the Indie Stone team. So what does he do? He's a 3D animator. That's awesome. They're going to have a dedicated 3D animator on the team to work on new animations and all kinds of cool stuff. Now, that's not to say that Binky isn't a bad animator. He is. But as you all know, with a team as small as Indie Stone, a lot of the team members do multiple things all at once. And because of that, they can't kind of divert 100% of their efforts and attention on one particular aspect of game development. So bringing in this one person who can fully, full-time work on 3D animations means not only will Binky be able to go ahead and work on other things and put more of his energies and efforts and, and creative mind toward developing those things, this guy is going to be working purely on 3D animations, meaning we're going to have hugely new uh, animations to work with with both NPCs, wildlife, uh, the player model, all kinds of good stuff. They could say it here. It should have dramatic ramifications on what is possible for the combat system and stealth gameplay as well because the 3D models will be uh, flooding within new animations for the latter part of the year, which is awesome. It just really puts toward, you know, being able to have different uh, gameplay elements kind of frontlined. Uh, we're going to have like sneaking animations now. We're going to have the ability to have different kind of combat swings, which will in turn affect gameplay. We'll change how you fight zombies. We'll change how you sneak around. Maybe we'll be able to pin up against a wall and look around corners now. All kinds of cool stuff come with the ability to have these 3D animations fully worked on. Very, very cool. Uh, other than that, Romaine is taking a very little break in Venice this week. It's well earned, in my opinion, as they, sa they say themselves. And EZP is continuing his work on vehicles, which are coming along very nicely. Generally speaking, no huge developments on that front as far as development stuff. Just some, hey... The future is looking bright, as it always has been, but now it's looking even better. Uh, and that's it. That's the end of this blog. Another nice, easy blog for me to kind of rip through and talk about a little bit of. Nothing majorly. Again, a big happy birthday to MASH. If you guys are once-a-weekers, I'll see you next week. If you are regulars, I'll see you later today. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.